something that we, as you know, we, we talk about a lot and you and I've talked a little bit offline as well. Um, this idea of having a, having a creative family. I mean, actually John and I've been talking about a lot in the last few weeks. Um, I think just kind of coincidentally, but this idea that a lot of people are like, should I move to LA? Should I go to London? Should I, uh, should I go to the big city? Will I get opportunities that way? And mm -hmm. I think, you know, we talk about a lot. I'm, I'm very curious for your thoughts on it. Yes, there's an advantage to being around a lot of creative people, but more important than that, getting a consistent group of people that you work with that, and you yeah. work together and evolve with. I mean, it seems like that's you've done the epitome of that. I mean, you, you came up as an, an engineer and an assistant, and now you're mixing number one album, you know, bigger than ever. I speak I'd, on that a little bit. I, I didn't. I didn't actually think that that's what I was gonna do. Like it was mm. almost like, like I kind of wanted to be the guy that was working. Like I wanted to mix records. I wanted to mix big records and engineer big records. I wanted to be like, at the time it was you know, the Michael Browers, uh, the you know then later on like Dave, Jason, not like I wanted to do that. And at one, it was it was a I we were standing in this room and I had a realization at one point that a few years in that I'm, I can't do that. And I was like, but that's fucking cool. Cause mm -hmm. I can be like Mike Dean and Mike Dean worked with the, with one camp, but his camp yeah. was fucking hot. Like there's Kanye, there's Travis. You don't need to fucking work with anyone else when you, when you have some shit like that. So I was like, I realized that I kind of was part of this crazy crew. And like, I did, there's like, there's, I don't have any days off. So there's no need to work with anyone else. And we're, you know, pumping out record after record, awesome shit. There's some really cool shit in the that we have been working on as well. That's like kind of in in the in the pipes. Uh, that's just you know just so awesome to be part of. It. And I that's why I think like once you're like in all of us, it's not just me. There's a whole crew of engineers over here that you know you hang out together. You go and like the thing with engineering is it's a real like you gotta you obviously gotta it's like being in the hospitality business, especially like as a recording engineer, you know, you really, you got to take care of the clients. You got to do that. And it's cool to do it. But when you're doing it, like, like the fact that you're familiar with the people you work with every day and you're still, you know, you still do that, but that comfort just really, really helps. You know, mm -hmm. it's when, when you're exhausted, like I, I know some of my friends are really successful engineers, but they're working with a, a different big artist every week. Yeah, um, just coming into a new setting and shit like that. That at least, like, I'm I'm really, really like like glad and blessed that I you know I don't have to do that. Yo, what's up, Tizio? In the chat, <laughs> yeah, that's another friend of mine who like has what's up, Tizio? We've, How are we've you? done some dope shit together, and he's he's also like a full time engineer with one artist, and we we kind of you know we talk about the the ups and downs of it, but I mean for me it's like only ups, man. It's 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 really a blessing, and and I'm sure him too. That's very cool, man. Yeah, it's yeah. and it's interesting how technology in the last 10 or 15 years, maybe 20 years, has allowed a lot more people to be making records with a lot more people where you can, you know, when I'm doing writing sessions and things rather than just production or mixing, when I'm doing writing sessions, it's like just it's almost like blind dates and you can run around and work with a lot of people. But yeah. I think a lot of people are losing uh, the perspective on how powerful it is to be working with the same people over and over and over. You can go deeper and deeper. Yeah. And the tr the yeah. trust gets better and the workflow gets better because of it. That that's the biggest thing. Trust. Like there's there's so much trust between us and and and, and loyalty and all of that. And I like I that means a lot to me. You know the fact that like like Thug is really one of those people. If you're loyal to him and if you're if you're there like. But it takes a lot to do that, you know. I don't take days off. I don't not show up. I don't fuck around. I don't like call in sick. Any of that stuff. Yeah. Uh, so it takes a lot to build up that trust, and 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 it it does. You know, it, it it's all cool to see that someone who has like consistent work every day and all. But it took a lot to get to this level. Mm. And even when I first started working with him, like it took a lot to get that trust. But the I feel like. Like I, I, I kind of heard you guys say it a bunch too, and you put it way better than I could about how it's uh, um, where we said preparation is, uh, or luck is where preparation meets something. Opportunity, uh, yeah, luck exactly. Is it was a, a, like a baseball coach when I was like fourteen, yeah. said that, but other people said just luck is the point at which preparation and opportunity meet. Exactly, yeah. 